Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today, in previous lecture, uh, we have discussed about the design procedure of deep groove ball bearing. Uh, as I said in the last lecture, that we will discuss uh, the design procedure for angular contact ball bearing. Okay, so here we, uh, we will start with the problem. Uh, angular contact ball bearing is used for a gear shaft to support a radial load of 9 kN and 6 kN axial direction. Okay, the shaft rotates at 50 rpm. Select suitable size of bearing if it is required to have a life of 30,000 hours with the probability of survival is 93%. Check selected bearing is safe for given application. Okay. So first of all, we need to understand that the given rating life is 93%. Okay. और जो हम लोग design में normally use करते हैं और जो catalog में दिया गया रहता है, वो 90% के लिए दिया रहता है. Okay. So we need to uh, first of all understand this is a re the reliability is greater than 90%. This is a case. Okay. So as per our design procedure, we need to calculate the, uh, first of all, uh, write down the given data. FR is equal to 9000 kN, FA is equal to 6000 N, uh, N is given 50 RPM, bearing life is given, LH is equal to 30,000 hours. Reliability or you can say probability of survival is 93%. Type of bearing is angular contact ball bearing. Okay. So start with the calculation calculation of equivalent load. So P you just by heart this equation. It is very simple. B is equal to P is equal to X into R into V plus Y into FA into S. Okay, referring page page number two. In page page two, only one V factor or velocity or rotation factor is not provided over there. You just uh, add that factor in the equation. Okay. So survival factor as uh, we considering uh, that the moderate shock and the rotating machine is there. So value of S is ranging in between 1.1 to 1.5 page page number 4.2. Uh, we select S is equal to 1.2. Now we need to calculate the radial factor. Okay, so in previous lecture, we discussed properly how to find out the radial factor and axial factor, referring to page, page number 4.4. Uh, for that, we need to two ratios. First upon FA upon FR ratio and CO, uh, FA upon CO ratio. But here, uh, we don't have any uh, idea which type of, uh, which bearing designation should we are we can use okay so hamare paas abhi bearing ka idea nahi hai but we know that we we have to choose angular contact ball bearing so in this condition we need to go with the trial and error method okay so we have calculated the value of fa upon fr ratio so after the calculating the fa upon fr ratio need to check whether this ratio is available or not So the value of FA upon FR ratio is in range, ranging in between 0 0.025 to 0 0.5. So it means that the range of uh, the FA upon FR ratio, or you can say F, FA upon CO ratio that we have discussed, FA upon CO ratio. But about the FA upon FR ratio, that ratio is greater than that of all the values which is range which is uh, given okay so what we consider we consider that the value of fa upon fr ratio is greater than that of value of e okay so we have assumed this condition we don't have a uh, don't uh, confuse in the previous uh, previous uh, problem and this problem previous problem they have provided the bearing number in this problem, we don't have any bearing number. So we have assumed that the FA upon FR ratio is greater than that of E. 
okay and we have selected the initial values okay or maximum values for maximum fa upon co ratio that is 1.0.5 the value of x is 5.6 and the value of y is 1 okay so we have selected that values we have chosen that values and considering the inner race is rotating so the value of v is 1 okay now putting all the values and calculating the equivalent dynamic load or you can say p is equal to 13248 newton okay now i have mentioned in uh, previous one uh, i was mentioned uh, l only l so here i have properly mentioned l93 so life is given for l93 which is in hours now we need to convert that life into million revolutions so referring equation l 93 is equal to lh 93 means life in hours into 60 into speed and divided by 10 is to 6 so the value gate is 93 million revolutions so this means that the bearing fail minimum 93 no, sorry 90 million revolutions rotation complete karega kiske hisab se based on the 93 probability that is reliability or you can say system probability now we need to calculate the value for 90 percent probability of survival so referring uh, that probability equation l93 by l10 log of 1 divided by r93 divided by log of natural log of 1 divided by r10 raised to 1 by b b as we are using ball bearing the uh, other bearing uh, the value of b is 1.17 for ball bearing dgbb it is 1.34 okay so hum log yahan pe dusra normal uh, other than de bru ball bearing use kar rahe to us b ka value aaya hai 1.17 you can refer phd page number 4.2 so putting all the values what we get for 90% percent of survival the life of bearing is 123.77 million revolutions as we discussed previously also as the reliability increases the life of bearing gate decreases for 98 90% it is 123.77 and for 93 get reduced to 90, 90 million revolution now using this equation uh, this value of l10 uh, we are providing uh, the values uh, rather than uh, putting the value of L10 and L93 and L10 you can just put the value of L10 in this equation and divided by 10 raised to 6 million revolution so you get the value of C okay so here what we get the value of C is near about 1100 11,000 913.13 newton or in kg of 1191.3 kg f okay so based on this value of c you have to select a proper angular contact bearing okay so referring psg uh, we have find out uh, we have find out the series that 30 b a 02 okay but using 38b02 the static capacity is 1120 kgf and the dynamic capacity is 1600 kgf now by using same static capacity i would like to find out the actual life of pairing okay so to calculate once we need to uh, using same equation c is equal to l93 by l10 raised to 1 number 1 by k into p so here the value of k is 3 as a rolling bearing roller bearing is there or ball bearing is there uh, putting all the values what we get the life of bearing is 
218.03 जो हमने पहले कैलकुलेट किया था वो आया था मैक्सिमम लाइफ फॉर 93 परसेंट बेरिंग 93 के लिए कितना आया था 100 और 193 प्रोबेबिलिटी के लिए 90 मिलियन रिवॉल्यूशन बट आफ्टर यूजिंग दिस बेरिंग और यू कैन से वी हैव चोजन 30 बी ए जीरो टू बेरिंग सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस बेरिंग वॉट वी फाइंड वी फाइंड दैट the bearing can satisfy or you can it can easily handle the given load as well as uh, it can easily survive the given life criteria and this is suitable for given application which is the our which was the previous task of our design okay jo aapko problem mein pucha gaya hai now we will just Take a glance. How we have selected that bearing? So going uh, to the type of bearing, as it is a DGPP, we need to find out for angular contact bearing. Again, it is DB DGPP. So here, self alignment bearing, self alignment bearing. So single row angular contact bearing. So find to find any value. we you need to two basic values one if you have a bearing number then okay if you have a diameter then okay otherwise you need a static or dynamic capacity okay uh, in our problem we have calculated the static uh, dynamic capacity the value of c uh, which is 1192.31 okay the value of c 1192.92 uh, uh, 91.31 okay so here i have selected you can just uh, uh, need to refer this row i will just highlight it so this we have already calculated to hame kya karna hai is is row se hame value choose karna hai तो कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू इन केजीएफ कितना आता है 1191 ओके तो हमें क्या करना है कि इससे जो ज्यादा वाला वैल्यू है वो सिलेक्ट करना है सो व्हाट वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ वैल्यू ऑफ सी व्हिच इज ग्रेटर देन दैट ऑफ 1191 दैट इज नथिंग बट अराउंड 1200 तो 1200 से ज्यादा कितना नेक्स्ट आता है That is a sixteen hundred. So that's why we have chosen this bearing. Okay. So here you can find out the actual ISI number that is thirty BA zero two, which is mentioned in a in a problem. But you can, with respect to the SKF, the bearing number is seven two zero six B. Okay. Okay, so that's why we have selected this one, this full bearing details. Okay, if you think that this also get filled, you have to refer for next one. Okay, जो दूसरा है thirty five B A zero T two, or you can say seven two zero seven B. तो आप लोग वो choose कर सकते हो. But as soon as the value get increases, the diameter also get increases. So, हमें uh, for optimum point of view, we need to select a proper bearing. Okay. So I hope you have understood how we can uh, select a proper type of bearing based on the uh, given condition. Okay. So in this video, I will uh, discuss only about the Uh, angular contact uh, bearing and uh, only single radial and axial load is applied over the bearing theek okay? hai so in next video uh, we will discuss or uh, in the next lecture we will discuss about the cyclic load if the cyclic load is acting over the bearing okay to okay so thank you thank you very much for joining me
if you have any doubt you can call me or you can uh, message me okay hope you understood uh, this design if still you have any uh, uh, query related to design you can mail me also i put my email id on description box okay so thank you thank you very much